Welcome to Paradise Road Restorations, your all Mopar channel. Come along for the ride as we look at the Banker's Hot Rod, a 1960 Chrysler 300F. The Chrysler 300 series started in 1955 based on the premise of building high performance luxury cars. The first 300s were all Hemi powered, but by 1959 they had replaced the Hemi with a 413 wedge called the Golden Lion. The 1960 Chrysler 300F added a whole new level of power when they introduced the ram induction system. The intake manifolds were 30 inches long and hung over the side of the engine, topped by Carter AFB carburetors. This engine made 375 horsepower at 5,000 RPM with an amazing 495 foot-pounds of torque at only 2,800 RPM. Only Mopar would build such an audacious motor in search of performance. The closest engine made by any American manufacturer was the 360 horse 352 from Ford. But that's not an engine package that is well known, even among the Ford guys. On the inside, the car has four individual bucket seats and the front seats swivel out for ease of entry when the door is opened. The cars were all leather in interior and they're all the same color, all of the Chrysler 300 Fs. The Astrodome instrument cluster was the first of its kind with electroluminescent lighting and was praised for how easy it was to read at night. The 1966 Charger used some of the same styling cues as this 300 F. It also had four individual buckets and electroluminescent lighting. By using some of these cues from the early Chryslers, it gave the Charger high-end luxury touches. Because of the way that the instrument cluster is designed, the turn signal switch is actually located on the dash as a lever you move either left or right when you make a turn. The car also had a tachometer, cable driven, and it was mounted lower on the console. This car was built for performance and it drew plenty of praise from the motoring press for its abilities. There were just over 1,200 built, so there are not many around today. But this car stands as a reminder that Mopar excelled at building performance even in 1960. Thanks for checking out this car. Please come back for more great Mopar features. Thanks for watching.